In the episode number 110 of the ASCP Tech News, we talk about the latest NVIDIA graphics card driver, Biostar launches a new B760 chipset motherboard, Lexar announces a new M.2 SSD, and Asus announces a Noctua-cooled RTX 4080 graphics card. We start with NVIDIA and their latest graphics card drivers, NOMAD version 528.02. This is a certified driver release and it brings out support for the new RTX 4070 Ti graphics card alongside optimizations and DLSS3 support for the following video games, Conqueror's Blade and Dakar Desert Rally. This release fixes some issues, starting with Portal RTX, which would hang during resolution mode change and GeForce Experience recordings. With DirectX 12 enabled, shadow play recordings may appear overexposed when Use HDR is enabled from the Windows Display settings. Players report black or grey screens in Outer Wilds with 522.25 drivers, Lumino Pro 12.3, heavy corruption observed on App Window, and fixed brightness issues on some notebooks. Unfortunately, the models are not listed. In terms of issues left unresolved, we have plenty of those as well. Toggling HDR on and off in-game causes game stability issues when no native resolution is being used. Monitor may briefly flicker on waking from display sleep if DSR or DLDSR is enabled. With Halo Wars 2, in-game foliage is larger than normal and displays constant flickering. In the Steam version of Forza Horizon 4, the game might freeze after 15 to 30 minutes of gameplay. With a GeForce RTX 4090 and Watch Dogs 2, the game may display flickering when staring at the sky. As is the case with all NVIDIA driver releases, I have already installed this one on my system and nothing new to report. No performance increase and no issues so far. Next, Biostar launches a new motherboard that uses the Intel B760 chipset and the LGA 1700 socket. The VRM system has a 16 plus 1 plus the face configuration. The design of the B760A Silver is simple, with a silver and black color combination and small heatsinks on the VRM and chipset. Other features found on this motherboard include PCIe Gen 5 slots and PCIe Gen 4 M.2 sockets. In addition to a Realtek RTL8125-BG internet controller and Wi-Fi 6E connectivity, plus a Realtek ALC1220 audio chipset. The price for this motherboard is not yet known, but if it's cheap enough, then the B760A Silver could be a good choice for a mid-range gaming system. We continue with Lexar, which has launched a new M.2 SSD, the NM800 Pro. This new model comes with its own heatsink and rated read write speeds of 7500Mbps and 6500Mbps. The biggest difference with this new SSD is the included heatsink. This PCIe Gen 4x4 M.2 SSD has been on the market, but now it has been relaunched in a Pro variant. The SSD has a few storage capacities, 512GB, 1TB and 2TB. More details will be released after CS 2023, when this SSD and many others will be on display. And finally, Asus and Noctua have revealed their joint venture RTX 4080 graphics card. Just like these previous models, this graphics card uses two 120mm Noctua fans in a 4-slot cooling system. The fans used on this cooling system are the Noctua NF812X25 models and will be controlled by the graphics card and its pre-installed fan profiles. The design of the cooling system and the graphics card will be a classic hate it or love it type of thing, as the fans use the typical Noctua brown and tan color combination while the heatsink has a two grey color combination. As is the case these days with graphics cards, the pricing for this model is not yet known, but chances are this one will not be cheap. And this is the end of the episode number 110 of the ASAP Tech News, one of the few tech news series which aims to deliver the news as fast as possible for your convenience.